It was the first European explorers who sailed up the Arnoca Delta that gave this country its name. When they saw settlements like this along the riverbank, they were reminded of a little Venice, Venezuela. Neve's work placement has been with a unique school which encourages children with physical disabilities to learn and play together with other children. A lot of them live on the street and the school uniforms are the only real clothes they have. It's full of interesting Irish-American connections, such as President John F. Kennedy, who was here once. If you're a political junkie like me, you're going to love this place. Airspeed is alive. Whoa! Got a target up. No matter how you do it, you can't possibly leave Kaikuru without seeing some whales. They can take a little while to find these whales. I've often, you know, gone down to Gary and looked for fungi, and it can be hours before he appears. So you can be out in the ocean, peel in your eyes, and then they dive again. And when they dive, the tail flips up and they go straight down. It's the most gorgeous thing. They say Swallow's Cave is one of the best places to explore. It involves swimming into an underwater cave over a sudden drop of about 30 metres. Then, ahead in the distance, there they were. Because Tobago is located seven miles off the coast of Venezuela, it benefits from the nutrient-rich waters of the mighty Orinoco, which is directly responsible for the island's diverse marine life. In 1997, the MV Maverick was deliberately sunk off Rocky Point to create an artificial reef and dive site. <laughs> Famous for headhunters and tribal warfare, wild jungles and untouched highlands, and with an unparalleled ecosystem, this is considered to be the last great wilderness.
but no lectures, talks or photographs can really prepare you for your first view of the Antarctic in all its splendour.